Flo has applied to the Supreme Court for an injunction to restrain the NWA and Czech from destroying, altering, or moving any of the vital equipment on all the major roads now under modification. The court action is the culmination of months of tension among the entities based on several disruptions in flow services due to the alleged damage to underground cables, conduits, and wires by work crews. The disruption has affected the company's ability to deliver services to private and commercial customers and has also exposed the flow to possible action by these customers. In the application, Flo has named the NWA, Czech, and the Attorney General as defendants. It wants the court to order them to immediately stop removing, rerouting, destroying, relocating, or altering its fiber optic cables, copper wires, conduits, and related apparatus, contrary to its right of way granted by the government. President of the private sector organization of Jamaica PSOJ, Howard Mitchell, says he is not surprised by Flo's legal action. While we are in support generally of this kind of infrastructure improvement, we recognize it as progress. We are pretty sure that it could have been managed better than it is being managed. We have seen the Chinese at work in their own country. We have seen them in other countries. And we suspect, well, we know that's not how they operate in those other countries. So it is not surprising that somebody has decided to bring them before a Jamaican court. Mr. Mitchell is, however, concerned about the implications for the road projects. We really hope that it does not delay the work in, in any material way because we know that the country will suffer from that. But we also hope that this will bring not only the contractors, but the managers of the contractors, the national works agency, to their senses and allow for better management better work procedures, better work protocols in what has been a very difficult time for, for many of our members. So that we are watching it. We have not had a fulsome discussion with Flo. And as I say, we are understanding of their position and we hope that something can be arrived at by negotiation before too much time passes. Flo claims that since 2016, NWA and Czech have carried out work on several roads which has caused significant damage to several of its underground apparatus. This damage has caused physical loss and commercial losses due to disruption of services to several thousand customers. Flo argues that this damage is due to the negligence of the NWA and Czech who have been carrying out the works in a reckless manner. A date has not yet been set for the hearing of the injunction. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline News.